Okay, this video is gonna be a little bit long because I sort of went on a rant, but long story short, I basically say that we were so disappointed with Game of Thrones season eight that any sort of slight improvement makes us hype up the show so much. Number two, we really did not see a lot of the plot holes explained and like we just don't have much explanation for the character developments for a lot of these characters. Number three, there is this huge major plot hole, a plot hole because Damon had connection to the White Worm and he was, you know, hooking up information with the White Worm all those years while he was at Dragonstone. And why was he not doing anything? Like, it's just so confusing to me. So, anyways, that the too long, didn't read, didn't watch summary. And I would really like some answers. Okay, so I've been seeing all these positive reviews of House of Dragon season one, and I think in my previous video, I've said many things that many people seem to agree with. So I, I don't, I think it's a positive show. I, I, I like it, but I don't think it's that great as people are hyping it up to be. Like, yes, it is good. And it kept me on my toes and I'm, I'm like waiting every single Sunday while it was running for the next season. I mean, I wasn't like waiting, waiting. I did watch it on Monday and Tuesdays as opposed to like watching it on the dawn on Sunday at the end. Anyways, but my point is, um, I don't think it was that great like people are saying. I feel like there are many things that I can critique about the show such as the plot holes, the time jumps are super annoying. Like, I feel like I'm on George R. R. Martin's side. So I kind of got like really like in depth and nerdy about this, but I wish there was like 10 seasons. Like I really would have liked to see, and I feel like many of us would have agreed. Um, I feel like many of us would have wanted to see Rhaenyra and uh, House, what is his name? Oh my God, I can't believe I'm forgetting his name. The the Heron Hall Lord, the Lord Drong. Can't what I forgot, I forgot his name. A uh, Harwin Harwin. I can't believe I got Harwin's name. Harwin Drong. Um, relationship that would have been really nice and hot and like sexy. <laughs> um, and I also would have liked to see what Rhaenyra and Damon were doing those ten years at Dragonstone. That would have been super interesting because, going off my previous video, they seem to be like doing nothing. Like they were just like, just sitting there and just like while Team Green was like plotting and poisoning her daddy, King Viserys at King's Landing. She didn't visit her father for 10 years and apparently they had a great relationship. Like that just does not make sense. I don't care if it's medieval time. You have a fucking dragon. Just go visit your daddy. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, so like, those 10 years at Dragonstone, she was just doing nothing and just, you know, making babies with Damon. Like, no, why didn't you visit your dad? Why didn't you at least do something? So I feel like those are the two things, the major things I would have seen. Like, I would have wanted to see Horan Strong and Rhaenyra do something. And also, another thing I would have liked to see is Damon and... uh Le Leanna, is it her name? Le no, late. Le what's her name? Oh, I forgot her name. The Valerian wife that he married. I would like. I would have liked to see their relationship a little bit more. At um, uh, they were staying at that tropical place. What is it called? Dorn? Were they staying at Dorn? I don't know. Some tropical place, tropical paradise, where they had sweet wine. And then um, I'm really bad at names, by the way. And then. Um, Another thing I would have really liked to see is Damon and Rhaenyra at the, uh, at, what, what do you call it? I'm zoning out. But I would like to see Damon and Rhaenyra at Dragonstone and really see what they were up to those years. Because to me, they weren't doing anything. So, yeah. I, people are saying, like, season one is great. I don't think it's great. I think it's really good. And I feel like it really showed the actors uh, acting abilities and everything, but I just feel like the all the time jumps could have been one season, and I would have been perfectly happy with it. I just feel like they're rushing to show the war, but I'm just like, ah, oh, fuck! I'm a lady. I don't want to see war. I want to see this suspense and the build up to the war. I want to see like really why 
this war happened because to me, this war is happening based on a misunderstanding, like years of tension and misunderstanding and Allison being like this jealous bitch and an auto being like the scheming snake he is and Laris, oh my God, don't even get me started with Laris. But uh, I just feel like this war, uh, it, 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 there's so many like layers of complex, like complex layers to this war that I really wish they had shown because to me, starting this war based off this misunderstanding that Allison had supposedly, it's just not convincing enough for me. And that's why I'm a little disappointed with this season. I feel like the time jumps are just too much. Um, that's just my opinion. So what do y'all think? Um, just having, I, I was just watching like these YouTube reviews and I'm just like, well, I don't completely agree. I honestly think that we are just so disappointed from season eight of Game, and, Game of Thrones that any sort of slight improvement from season eight Game of Thrones, we're just like, oh my God, this is the best show ever because we had such low expectation for House of Dragon. But I feel like if we all take a step back and really evaluate the show, well, I don't think it's that good. Like, I really don't think it's that good. I mean, okay, don't get me wrong. I think it is good, but it's not that good as people are hyping it up to be. Don't get me wrong. I like House of Dragons. I'm obsessed with it. And the actors do a phenomenal job. I just wish that they would have milked the details a little bit more. I would have really been delighted to see her and Drawn get more drink green time. I'm really more delighted to see how Damon's character arc changed with his Valyrian wife. I, I forgot her name. Um, I forgot her name. She only had like one, like a couple of episodes. Okay, don't blame me for forgetting her name. Lately. Le Le Lena, no, that Liana, Liana, that's her name. Liana Valerian. Really would have liked to see how she changed him. Most importantly, most importantly, if I could only have one of those three, I would have really liked to see Damon and Rhaenyra at Dragonstone. Like, just seeing what they were doing all those years besides. And making babies, like they literally did nothing. We, I want to see why were they so passive while the greens were so active and they knew the greens were scheming. Like, okay, spoiler alert, but the white worm did not die. Okay, did the white worm did not die because that's how blood and cheese happened. So Damon and the white worm were like connected. They, they were like keeping up with each other. If Damon had the inside scoop, why was he not doing anything? Why was he just like not doing anything? Tell me, people. Someone tell me why Damon was not doing anything. <laughs> Anyways, I think I just had a little bit more, too much coffee. My coffee this morning was really bad. It was, I added this like biotine collagen thing. But anyways, now I need to um, remove this chip nail polish. I, you know, unlike every girl these days i do not do gel i do not do acrylics because i just feel like it's bad for my skin bad for my nails and the uv lighting i do not want to age my hand so i stick to the old school nail polish but that also means a few days later my nail look like this so anyways 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 so yeah i really want to know what damon and rhaenyra were doing all those years at dragonstone especially because damon had connection to the white worm so i don't know okay final words i do want to say that there are so many good things about this show. Sorry, I have a kettle boiling water. There are so many good things about this show that I do love. But because I love it so much, I wish that they had milked the show a little bit more. I wish that we got more juicy details because I would have ate that up. But um, we will just have to take what we got. I just really don't want it to be another Game of Thrones season 8. Because literally Game of Thrones season 8 was like a dagger to my heart. Literally. <laughs> literally. Um, when Daenerys got stabbed in the heart by Jon Snow. I feel like 
he stabbed all of us in the heart because it was just like so painful to watch him. Just like, why did you just kill the season? Like that killed the entire show like that. And I really don't want that to happen to House of Dragons. Um, so I'm like trying to like slow it down. Oh, I have eggs on the cooking. 